Welcome back. We are here uh, looking at the commodities market and the precious metal market. And I have changed my videos uh, so that the people that are members on Patreon will now have access to um, this video, which will include all the um, commodities that are available on eToro. And uh, that is exclusive, uh, exclusive for people that are here on Patreon. So we'll start and looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have found support here at 92.17. And at this point, I think it's only a matter of time before we turn around and head towards and down 50 moving average. And that would uh, be actually perfect timing because most of the indices are turning around. Commodities are also turning around, some of them. And also precious metals need to turn around, for example, gold in order to go higher. So that would make sense that these indicators would turn around now we'll head towards the 50 moving average if that breaks then we'll go to these uh, highs previous highs i don't think we're going to go beyond that we'll just see more of the same so it has been tricking uh, tricky trading this week because all of the vaccine news so most of the plans that were available for this week have basically been tossed into the bin but we are seeing signs of weakness all over the place, basically in indices and stocks and commodities as well. So we'll start by looking at oil. So oil has rallied all the way to uh, 32.5 or even higher than that. And now we are still showing signs of weakness. We'll most likely turn around here. If the US dollar index uh, appreciates, then this is going to head towards the 50 moving average. We can see that the technical indicators are not as bullish now as they have been. So um, I don't expect this to go higher. If we go higher, then we are going to run into major resistance here at 33.2. And then it's going to head lower. So um, this is a market that I will be watching in order to basically short this at least down to the uh, 50 uh, moving average. So look at net gas we can see that we have tried to pass the 50 moving average. And this should be a massive warning sign. I think I mentioned this in the, in the forum uh, earlier today when somebody asked me about the net gas. And we need to basically break the 50 moving average. We also have to break the top of this previous candlestick here in order to go even to this high. So this should be a massive warning to everybody that this could collapse towards the 2.6 and also 2.5. And therefore, it is highly unlikely to trade this at this point. Um, you should basically wait until you find the next major support for, in order to buy this higher. We're entering colder period in the United States. And if I were to guess or make a shot where we are going, I would look at the Fibonacci retracement. And what we will see, you will see that you have the first one here at 2.6, and then the second one here at 2.45. I think that, I don't think that we'll go all the way down here. I think we'll go to 2.5. And that will coincide to these previous lows here, and that will be major support. So entering a buying here would make sense in order to go to even higher for the winter months. So we'll look at copper. So this is another uh, possible trade. Uh, we have the top here. And what we're going to see here is most likely that we're going to drift towards the 50 moving average as we drifted here towards the 50 moving average. Technical indicators for copper are all turning around. And there is uh, almost a certainty that we are going to go significantly lower. No interest in basically buying this whatsoever. I am willing to short this all the way down to the 50 moving average. So if you look at gold, we can see that we have tried to rally, but we stopped. If we uh, have an increase in the US dollar index, then we are going to see this fall significantly lower. We have significant support here at almost 1850. If that breaks, we'll go all the way down to 1800. And that is the area where I think a lot of buyers will come in and pressure this um, significantly higher. I don't see we have enough momentum here in order to go past the 50 or this resistant area here. Technical indicators for gold are also looking dreadful at this point. So we'll at 
least go to 1850. If that breaks, 1800, definitely. So if you look at silver, silver is doing fairly the same thing as gold. We can see that we have, if we take the Fibonacci retracement here, we can see that we have major uh, support here at the $222, but the 50 Fibonacci retracement at $20 is basically the target. When this falls, and it can fall very quickly, within one or three trading days, we can go down towards this area here, and that will be a major uh, support area, and a lot of buyer will come in and basically pressure this uh, commodity to the higher uh, levels will also break the 50 and probably also reach these very highs and beyond that when that happens. Technical years for this are looking fairly dreadful and that is also expected. You are expecting to at least test these uh, lows of $22. So if we look at platinum, finally there has been some life in this uh, commodity. We have broken the 50 moving average. We have rallied all the way up towards 955. And at this point, we are targeting 979 and then 1300. Break, I don't think we're going to break that. I think actually we're going to bring fall back towards the 50 moving average here. Because if you look at the CCI, it is very negative and we are getting on the edge of being overbought. No interest in basically shorting this because we have massive support all the way down here, 50, 200, and in this entire area. This is a market that is going to go higher within time. Um, it moves really rapidly, so keep in mind, fall back towards the 50 and move um, or a pullback from there is a buying opportunity. So if you look at Pallium, We can see that we have rallied quite significantly and pulled back. We are above the 50 moving average, which is a very encouraging sign. And this is also a very encouraging candle that we brought, uh, rallied so significantly. If we get another green candlestick above the 50 moving average tomorrow, then that is a definitely sign that is possible to bind us towards these very highs with a stop loss right underneath here in this area here. So definitely a probable a plausible buy for pallium um, tomorrow if we get a green candlestick above here that looks fairly bullish so if you look at aluminium so i have added this to our analysis and as you can see this has been a massive bull run for aluminium all the way down from uh, 1.3439 and all the way to 1.991. At this point, we are significantly overbought. And I do expect a pullback. It is possible to sell this because the distance between the, the price level now and the 50 moving average is quite significant. And um, a pullback towards the 50, that is a buying opportunity. We'll see something similar to this and then go significantly higher. Whether or not we get all the way down here, that's the question. But uh, it is impossible to buy it here. You need a pullback towards the 50. It is possible to short it for a very short time. I think that we'll find buyers that come in at around 1900. Uh, so be aware, this is a market that is possible to short, but best to buy it down at the 50 uh, moving average. So we have nickel. We can see that we are starting to uh, pull back towards the 50 moving average and this is also an uptrend. We have been an uptrend for quite some time. We have a significant uh, trend line down here but what we were looking at is basically a pullback towards the 50 and a turnaround at the 50 moving average. These technical indicators are looking fairly dreadful at this point so a pullback towards the 50 is, is, uh, is our buying opportunity for this market. We'll have a stop loss underneath and we'll target these previous highs. So this is a market that should be looked after. We'll probably take what we were, three to four trading days until this gets to the 50 moving average and then we'll rally to the upside most likely. So we look at food market, sugar. So this is not a very encouraging candle. 
this is a big warning that we are going to go lower from here, most likely down to 0 0.1439. Uh, that is probably as low as we will go. So entering that area is a bu possible buying opportunity. The 50 moving average will also be around that area when we get there. This is the massive warning sign for this market. Everybody should get out of the way if you're thinking about basically buying this. This is not a good idea to buy it now because this is going to head towards the 0 0.1443. And there you basically can buy into this market and target the previous size with a stop loss right underneath the 50 moving average. So if we look at cotton, we can see that um, this is the move that I was looking forward to but i missed this today um probably got extracted uh, distracted by yeah, the news on the in the market in the indices and so on but this was definitely something that i was thinking about making a signal about and uh, and and entering this market but i did not catch this market uh, we rallied quite significantly nearly four percent at the moment we'll find resistant here if that breaks we'll go significantly higher these are also previous highs before the coronavirus so so keep in mind we are at levels prior to coronavirus and we could basically break down from here these technical indicators are very bullish so we'll mo most likely go higher um, a pullback towards the 50 that gives us another opportunity to enter this market in order to buy for the highs so we have cocoa and Kokoa was very, very bullish this week. This is the most surprising uh, move I've seen this entire week. I was expecting this to turn around at the 50, head towards the 0 2.0. But vaccine news is good for Kokoa. No doubt about that. Question is if we can get to the very highs. We, if we, if we can get to these highs, that will be a question whether or not we can get through this if not we'll head towards the 50 moving average then and then it'll be a uh, selling opportunities this is a perfect market to buy at these very lows 2.0 sell at the very highs at 2.7 these uh technical indicators will most likely also start to turn around you can all see that the start, you know, cci has started to turn around so probably one more day of very good um more uh, of, um, of gains and then we'll head back towards the 50 moving average and there is your selling opportunity so last but not least we have wheat and um, this market is starting to look uh, promising i'll think that we'll uh, i think that we'll see a similar move as we saw in cotton that we'll see an explosive candle to the upside We're gonna go really rapidly and uh, at this point, it is possible to buy this with a stop loss underneath here around 578 and the target of here at the 637. So keep that in mind, this is looking like massive support. So this could take off to the upside at any time. So hope you find this uh, helpful. Um, I think that most of the indices are going to fall tomorrow. They were supposed to fall today. That was the expectation. But tomorrow, that is highly likely that we're going to see a very negative market because the best news has been uh, delivered already and there was no growth in these indices uh, compared to the news of the day. So good luck and thank you very much.